Hey there everyone, this is Tom from Montag here doing the weekly Montag matchup for the 10th of September. So we've got a couple of interesting matches uh, for the wild cards this weekend. Um, it's a really interesting bracket because it's it's very dependent. Um, obviously we've got the matches currently at, at the moment that have been scheduled are Tamus versus Hero and Doozy versus Tailsweep. The winner of Tamus versus Hero will take on Black Saber. The winner of Doozy versus Tailsweep will take on Shadow. Now it's interesting, it's, it's more of a rookies versus veterans bracket there. Uh, Tamus and Hero, obviously Tamus has been around a little while, but he's, you know, he's still a little bit underve underdeveloped, so you could still classify him as a rookie of sorts. Um, and the winner of that's then taking on Black Saber, who's only had one match so far. And, a po and an opposing on the opposite side, you've got Doozy and Tailsweet, who've both been around for a little while. And they'll be taking on Shadow, who has come back uh, right after he, you know, right after his little bit of a hiatus, he's come back. So now we've got a, a couple of interesting matches because it, let's, let's, let's have a look at the decks starting right off. Um, Tamus, known for those Sky Soldier Bandits. Hero, known for the Sunwalkers. Now, of course, there aren't any clear um, definitions of who's going to beat who in terms of which deck perfectly counters which. And we have seen Sky Soldiers do well, and we have seen Sunwalkers do well. So the real question is going to be, how do they approach this matchup? Um, obviously, is Hero going to be looking for those health points? And, or is Tamus going to be looking for the extra time? Now, obviously, this is where, you know, Hero's shown a lot of skills in those matchups. He got to 15 really, really easily. Uh, in the last match, he had to really work for it, but he got there and he showed a really good performance against Ham Hunter. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to survive in the end. I do believe he had options but he just forgot to use them. So that's where that in-game awareness comes in. Uh, and Tamus obviously has always been um, right on the cusp of top eight, so a win here uh, would be massive to get into that um, final match with Black Saber. Uh, Doozy and then Tailsweet. Both of these players have incredible potential. Um, they've been in and around that top 10, uh, kind of dipping in and out of that top eight situation. Um, but they've never really been able to put a foothold and hold on for it for long enough. Um, they both use really good decks though, so that's why it's a really it's a really interesting matchup. Doozy obviously now they've really gone for the generic strategy, generic fighters, which is really is going to be tough because normally I you could say Tailsuit is going to take this, but because Doozy's running those generics now, um, Giant's Wrath, the new Giant's Wrath just got approved, so. That's, I, I don't know man, that, that's, that's a really hard match to call because you've got a, the potential of those generics could be way too much for Tailsweet or Tailsweet with those Tarotians could just shut them down. So, gosh, that is a tough one. Uh, and then that's, that's not even the worst part. Once they get through that matchup, whoever does, they're then going to take on Shadow. Now this one, he has been using Steel Edge Shadow, but... After he's, he has had a couple losses, does he change? And if he does, what deck does he change to? And that could change the matchup completely. If we're talking just Steel Edge, then we know that Doozy's terrified of Steel Edge, so that could be a great matchup for Shadow. But Tail Sweet would be a terrible matchup for Shadow because of Tarotion shutting down Steel Edge. But then does Shadow even use Steel Edge? So you see where this starts to get a little bit confusing, a little bit interesting. Uh, and opposed to that, Tamus and Hero, Black Sabre using the Sunwalkers. Tamus uses the Sky Soldier Bandits, Hero uses the Sunwalkers. If Hero advances, you've got two newbies playing each other, both using that Sunwalker deck. Who's going to play them better? The winner of that is going to come into the tournament with a little bit of momentum. Great. But Tamus using Sky Soldier Bandits, if he does go through Hero, he then has that blueprint to take on Black Saber. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see if he can get back, back through to both of them, because if he does, here's the thing. If either, if anyone out of the beginning four, Tamus, Hero, Doozy, Tailsweet, if any of them win and become one of the spots, they'll be ahead on the points ladder. Now, obviously it might only be for that one turn, for that one, for that one week, but they will technically have more points than everybody who has automatically gone to round two. So that's a little bit of an interesting thing to be aware of as well. Um, and obviously, especially if you're coming back, you're going to have a little momentum because you've come up with minimum of one win uh, and a maximum of two wins. So it's really interesting. I'm really excited to see it. I'm really keen. I think it's going to be really great to see what kind of what kind of strategies develop. Personally, I'm looking to see more of the generics showing up in the meta. 
Um, I think they're going to get, they're getting more and more support. So I think that versatile tactician is going to show up. Obviously, <laughs> obviously Squishy's not going to be happy about that and I hope they take him down. Um, but anyway, no, I'm kidding. I'm going to do it. Anyway, moving on. Yes, so we've got a lot of interesting matchups. Um, I personally think that it's going to be about who evolves in between each matchup. And from there, we can kind of figure out where it's going to go. Um, looking at all their records, I've, let me just have a look. So obviously, they did get reset. But if we're looking out of last season, obviously, Hero and Black Sayer both have an 0-1 on their records. Uh, but Tail Suite in the last season was 2-5. and um, We've got Tamoose, which is 3-4-1. and four and one. Uh, and then I believe we've got Doozy on three and five. And then finally, we've actually, we look at Shadow. Shadow was, what was Shadow? He was 0 and three. So they're, they're the kind of records. Now that's why it's incredibly important they get this momentum because after they get this momentum, they're gonna be propelled right into those top spots. I think it's gonna be incredibly unpredictable, but we'll see how it goes. All right, well, those were the matchups. We'll see how it goes. Um, hope you always have a great weekend. This has been Tom. See ya.